Sometimes when you're teaching, you might want to record your lesson. This is helpful if kids miss class or you want to give them a lesson before they actually do the work. To do this, we're going to use the capture tool, which is in the main toolbar. We're going to use the camera icon or the camcorder icon inside of there. It looks like an old school camera. This is your recording tool. It's the fourth icon over. So go ahead and click on that. And that's going to open our recording menu, which will appear in the bottom right corner. You'll see here there's a little headphone icon with some bars jumping up and down. This is your microphone level. So you do want to have a microphone connected to your device to make sure that you are getting good audio. And that's a nice preview of it. Next to the microphone, you're going to see two rectangle icons. These are for your screens. So if you have one screen that you're recording, it's not really a big deal. But if you're running dual monitors, you need to tell Whiteboard which screen you want to record. So click on that rectangle on the left, and it will let you pick to record either screen one, screen two, or both your screens. Again, this is only if you're running extended desktop and two monitors. If you have one screen, you have nothing to worry about. You can also capture a specific area by selecting the rectangle next to it with the hand. You can select a specific part of your screen. The red icon with the Wi-Fi bars is YouTube Live. That's for another video. And then finally, your record button is on the far right. We're going to click this button to actually start our recording and choose our resolution setting. So let's go ahead and click that to get started. You'll notice that you can choose HD, Full HD, or even 4K. We definitely want to keep it at HD just for space. It doesn't take up too much and it's easy to see. So it's still good quality. You'll get a 3 to one countdown timer and then your video is recording. So let's go ahead and switch to our pen and start teaching. Any annotations, anything I do like this is captured and recorded. If you have something embedded like this simulation, it's gonna record that as well. Let's make a new page and we'll use Windows Toggle to go to our desktop. Remember that when you Windows toggle, this is still going to record, so any of our annotations like this are still going to show up. Let's toggle back to whiteboard. On the bottom right, you'll see a little window that's kind of hidden. That's the recording menu, and it's just out of your way. It doesn't want to pop up and get in front of your lesson. You'll notice there's two buttons, one that's a pause button. This is helpful if you just want to pause the recording, but you're going to resume it in a little bit. That way you're not recording dead space. But when you're done recording your lesson and you want to stop it, what you want to do is click on that stop button. A preview video will open and it's just going to show you a preview of your video. Now, we always recommend that you record like 10 seconds and then watch it yourself just to make sure everything's set up correctly before trying to film a very long lesson. But you can see here in the preview video, everything that I was doing has been recorded, including toggle. Now to save this video, we're going to click the save disk icon in the bottom right corner of the preview window. This is going to open a new window, allowing us to save the video to our desktop or to our cloud storage, whatever you have connected to your whiteboard account. All you need to do is open up a folder. So we'll open up my drive here. At the bottom, you'll see there's a spot where you can give your file a name. So you'll want to retype that. You'll also notice that it saves in a .mp4 format, which is a nice universal format, easy for students to watch on any device, like their phone or Chromebook. To save it, give it a name and click the check mark, and then you'll see here that it uploads to our Google Drive. And that's it. That's how you do a screen recording and upload it to your cloud storage.